Minnie and the kids will be here in a bit, so I'll just tell them what my plan is for this year. Klondike legend Tony Beats, once a farmer in the Netherlands, now stands at the top of a gold mining dynasty. At an age when most people would retire, Tony's primed to make big moves. Hey guys. Right now, I think that this gold price is off the date. Now is the time to get excited. Before I turn 65, I'm planning on making that my biggest season ever. Make some real money. Oh, I'm never surprised by your plans anymore, So, I? Well, let's say we just spent $5 million worth on equipment, but we're gonna come back here with three times more iron than we left with. So I wouldn't see a big problem running 9,000 ounces. They think it is well within our reach. Don't count your chickens till they have still do Well, half of them are hatched already, so it'd be pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, piece of cake. We're going to have to hit the ground running. We are definitely going to go flat out for a while. Day shift, night shift? Oh, yeah. 24 hours a day. No. Here and the hill? <laughs> oh, yeah. So let's just go out and let's go do it. For nearly 40 years, Tony snatched up gold-rich ground in the Yukon. Now, with gold prices holding at historic highs, he's looking for a monster payday. To get his $16 million payout, Tony's reopening his Indian River operation, where he hopes to bank 5,000 ounces. 40 miles north, he's counting on his Paradise Hill claims to deliver the other 4,000 ounces of gold. The nugget cut, that'd be a good, quick cut with some decent pay on the needed. Tony's first target on the hill, an eight-acre cut he discovered 30 years ago, filled with big gold nuggets. We need to move a absolute crap ton of dirt this year. We're gonna reach Tony's goal. Gold is high right now, so strike while the iron is hot. That thing pushes a nice load of dirt, you know? I might have to get one more, huh? When Tony discovered the prime piece of land, he didn't have big enough equipment to get down to the pay layer 80 feet below the surface. Even last year, it would have taken at least three weeks to get to pay. But with his new arsenal, Tony wants it done in just five days. It definitely is nice to have the 950, three and a half scoops to a rock track, then it's full. Please, then add the kits on the dozer and the excavators. I don't have to be here. With all these years working together, you kind of think together, too, you know? You know, it's, it's crunch time. We have to get this dirt moved. Holy this stuff is solid. I'm just wasting time here. I cannot get through this. This is just not working. Tony, do you copy? Tony, do you copy? Go ahead. This wall is completely solid. We're at a standstill. Can you please come and talk to me? This way, this way, this way. Tony maneuvers the 120-ton machine right to the very cusp of the 40-foot drop. Tear the out. Ready to roll? As Tony busts through the permafrost, Ruby removes the pay dirt beneath. I 
that knob out, get the rock trucks back in there, and get rid of this dirt. See what happens when I do it myself. Tony has pay dirt ready to run a full month earlier than last year. A vital head start on his mammoth 9,000 ounce gold. You think that kid will be as goofy as the mother? Huh? I can say a You're a chicken, Kevin. You want to say that again? No. <laughs> in the Beats family gold room. We started sluicing everything from the Nugget Cut. I don't know how much T-Beats was expecting, but from what I've seen, I do think we'll have at least a little bit of gold in there. At the end of this week, Mom and I are heading 600 kilometers away to have a baby. We're just really not set up here in the Yukon to have babies anywhere except for Whitehorse. Working for my family, I'll be able to bring my child in and continue working. She'll be in a playpen over by probably the table because that's a peaceful noise to listen to. <laughs> it is an exciting thing, but... <laughs> to hit his 9,000 ounce target, Tony needs 475 ounces a week. So this two day run should deliver 160 ounces. Are you gonna pour some gold for us? Five, six, 14, 15, 18, 20, five, 40, 50, 70, 80.44. Have a look at the nuggies. 82.72. 82 ounces is worth over $147,000. We get $140,000 out of it, I'd take that any day. Not too bad at all, really. This is not quite the give or take two ounces an hour. Yeah. It's more than the Trommel produced per hour last season, but still less than the 475 ounces a week they need. Well, this will be your last gold wave for a while. Well, I mean, only if you don't have somebody else cleaning the gold while I'm gone. And at least she'll have a job when she gets back, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she needs a job, like a hole in her head. <laughs> just put that kid on the bench and just go and keep going. No big deal. Well, then you're going to have to buy a playpen and maybe a mobile and maybe a white noise machine. I need a humidifier. We'll just have to see. <laughs>